In the Northern Cape is experiencing a shortage of medical personnel at healthcare facilities. Our colleague Katleho Marabella is following this story. A very good morning to you, Katleho. Uh, tell us uh, what is currently happening where you are. Good morning, Desiree. At this present moment, we are at the Robert Mangali Sosobukwe Hospital in Kimberley, where the Northern Cape Provincial Department of Health is expected to welcome about 308 medical personnel. Um, we know that healthcare facilities in the province have been battling with a shortage of staff and medical personnel for a number of years, but the MEC of Health earlier told us that they are trying to address this challenge. So at the present moment, we are at one of the biggest hospitals in the province. And with me right now, I have the MEC of Health, Ndate Mahoping Likwene. Let me just engage him. Uh, Ndate Likwene, just tell us, um, we are here, you are welcoming different medical professionals. Um, how many are we expecting and how are we expecting them to actually help with service delivery in the province and address the many challenges that we experience here? Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning to our viewers. Uh, today is the health department in Northern Cape who are very elated. We are welcoming uh, 308 uh, medical practitioners in the main uh, medical officers uh, with 35 uh, professional nurses, albeit very, very small number but it will make a difference. So this entire uh, staff, uh, medical officers, will be deployed to all our facilities in the province. Uh, today, yeah, the Robert Mount Subukwe Hospital, we, uh, we will be uh, meeting some of the medical officers uh, after this program, just to officially welcome them. Uh, improving medical health care services in the province has been our focal point as a department. So. We just trying to improve that. The last day, you'll remember, we had some challenges. So this time around, we had our ducks in the row. We were well prepared. Uh, we learned from, them, from, from our past mistake. So this year, I think the, the number of uh, medical, the medical practitioners uh, to, our facilitas, to our facilities will bring and will make a difference. All, all, although it won't be addressing all the challenges, but we are very happy that we will be able to run at uh, full steam and to ensure that we improve our services to our communities in the whole province. So we are very happy, and we are not stopping here. We'll be working around the clock to get this, uh, uh, many and even more practitioners uh, to our facilities, especially our professional nurses. So today, I think uh, it's one of those days where we are really uh, trying to showcase and trying to recommit ourselves in trying to ensure that our facilities are running full steam and also are, also are very efficient uh, because uh, healthcare services is one of our most important and primary services uh, to any nation. So we are committed to the department to improve that. So this morning, uh, we are very happy as well as I've said, and uh, we'll be going down with you, of course, uh, to just uh, see the doctors we'll be meeting. So it's in line with our uh, commitment as a department, with our policy statement, uh, with our program in the whole province. Uh, I mean, to increase, uh, to increase our capacity, get more hands, but also show that our facilities, especially even during the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, period, that we have many more hands and we have many more professionals, which will be able to really uh, give uh, the services to our communities and our people throughout in the province. Thank you so much, MEC, for your yeah. time. We will be accompanying you on this program today. Uh, Desiree, there you have it. That was the MEC of Health, Ndatema Ruping Likwene just explaining to us that these healthcare professionals that will be welcomed this morning are actually expected to help with service delivery in the province. We also know that the province um, active positive COVID-19 active cases are escalating and the province has so far vaccinated over 500,000 people and there's still a long way to go. Back to you in studio, Desiree. Katleho, thank you so much uh, for bringing us up to speed with that story. The Johannesburg High Court is today expected to hear an urgent uplift.